The Enphase Home Energy Solution consists of several primary components. Microinverters or AC modules for energy generation, AC batteries for energy storage, the IQ Envoy to control operations on the ground and on your roof, Enlighten in the Cloud for monitoring system performance and managing your fleet, and for installers, the Installer Toolkit mobile app to configure, commission, and confirm operations of the systems you install. In this video, we will walk through the process for installing the IQ Envoy. For more information on the other components listed here, please see the Getting Started page at enphase.com slash getting started. Before starting installation, verify that you have completed the preparation steps in the Quick Install Guide on enphase.com. The Envoy should be installed where it can be wired to the same subpanel as the PV. Choose an area where ambient temperature does not exceed 46 degrees Celsius or 115 degrees Fahrenheit. If you are installing production metering, make sure the production CT can be placed within 5 feet of the Envoy. Production CT leads should not be extended. The Envoy will be hardwired for power. Choose an appropriate weather-rated enclosure. Avoid using metallic enclosures to avoid excess internal temperatures and Wi-Fi or cellular signal interference. Install conduit to meet your local code requirements for wiring to the Envoy. Mount the Envoy horizontally using the included DIN rail. Mount the DIN rail first using number 8 screws. Then clip the IQ Envoy to the DIN rail. Always de-energize circuits before wiring for power and CTs. The IQ Envoy uses terminal blocks for power and metering connections. When wiring the IQ Envoy for power, use a two-pole circuit breaker of up to 20 amps maximum for the supply wiring. Make sure supply wiring is 12 to 14 gauge copper rated at 75 degrees Celsius or better. Use a screwdriver to loosen the screw on the terminal block door and open the door. Wire the line and neutral conductors as shown. Connect line 1 to L1, connect line 2 to L2, and neutral to N. Tighten to 10.5 inch pounds. It is important that the phase is consistent all the way through. In other words, line 1 at the main panel is the same as line 1 at the Envoy. Note, wire colors, typically black and red, may not always consistently identify line 1 and line 2. To verify this, check with a multimeter. You must install the supplied solid core CT for production metering. Always connect your CT wires in the Envoy terminal block before physically installing CTs around the circuit wire. To install the CT for production metering, place the CT near line 1 of the solar production circuit and make sure the solar circuit is not energized. Route CT wires through the conduit to the Envoy. At the Envoy, connect the white production CT wire to the left P1 terminal. Connect the blue production CT wire to the right P1 terminal. Tighten all connections to 5 inch pounds. At the solar production breakers, pass each line 1 solar production circuit wire through the CT. The CT arrow should be pointing toward the load and away from the solar array. If installing AC batteries, do not pass conductors from AC battery branch circuits through the production CT. This will distort production readings. Consumption metering is an option and requires that you order and install two additional Enphase split core CTs. To learn how to install Enphase consumption CTs, please refer to enphase.com slash videos and search for installing consumption CTs. Close the terminal block door and secure it with the screw. Turn on the circuit feeding the IQ Envoy. On the Envoy, if the AP mode LED is not lit, press the AP mode button. On your mobile device, go to Settings and join the Envoy's Wi-Fi network. The network name will include the last six digits of the Envoy's serial number. 
If the app displays an Envoy software update message, follow the on-screen instructions to update the Envoy. You can move your device away from the Envoy after a few minutes when prompted to do so. The full update may take up to 20 minutes. The Envoy reboots several times during the update, and the LEDs light up in varied sequences until the update is complete. All four LEDs flash amber during boot up, approximately three minutes. When boot up is complete, the device communications LED lights solid amber, indicating that devices are not yet detected. Congratulations, you have completed the physical installation of the Envoy. You are now ready to start the commissioning process in Installer Toolkit. You will use Installer Toolkit to detect devices, enable meters, connect to Enlighten, send a system summary report, and sync your system with Enlighten. To learn more about the commissioning process, please see enphase.com slash getting started slash commission.